With spring training finally coming to an end here in Dodger Stadium, fans and media across Los Angeles are wondering what to expect from the Dodgers in 2009. So homecoming night concludes with the Waves capturing a big victory against USD, something both alumni and current students can enjoy. The Malibu Little League isn't just another sports establishment, but has been a staple of the Malibu community for over 50 years. The WBCA Pink Zone Night has special significance across the NCAA this year due to the recent passing of Kay Yao, the head coach of the women's basketball team of North Carolina State. Oaks Christian captures the victory and adds another notch on their winning streak. For Newswaves, this is John Collette reporting. It's become a family tradition, and for Tom and Alex Barr, a Saturday night Waves volleyball match is something they're sure not to miss. I like the Waves volleyball. I've been a fan for like two years now, and I come to a lot of their games. He's very knowledgeable, so we can sit and talk on a pretty horizontal level about just a, any sport. Whether it's in Firestone Fieldhouse or here at Eddie D Field, members of community, families, and students have all found a common ground that is Pepperdine Athletics. However, many Waves fans are concerned about the future of the athletic department due to the fact that the university has called athletic director John Watson to cut 10% of his spending budget for the upcoming years due to the economy's effects on the university. We had to cut about $850,000 from our operating budget. And, uh, and in doing so, it, that's a pretty significant hit uh, when you're talking about $7 million in operations. So Watson took action and cut two of the five sports not required by the West Coast Conference. This tactic salvaged the nationally competitive men's volleyball team and also kept Pepperdine at the Division One level. You know, to say in Division One, there are no sports to cut. So, uh, and we plan to still play Division One. So other sports are unlikely to be impacted. <laughs> Although the effects of these budget cuts remain uncertain, Waves fans do have a guarantee that their favorite teams will continue to compete at the highest national level. Because our teams have been able to compete at the national level, and I don't want to diminish that opportunity. I want them to continue to be highly ranked and highly successful. Even with the changes that have come, fans like Tom and Alex Barr have and continue to stay true to the sport and team that has helped bond them together. For News Waves, this is John Collette. We've got a packed show for you, including a senior farewell and a very special interview with the one and only Colco. The sports report. Sit out! Mark Dumpy and the boys of men's volleyball headed up to NorCal last week to match up with two of the top teams in the MPSF. In a highly anticipated matchup, the Waves fell to number one ranked Stanford Cardinal in a five set showdown. After the Waves took the first two sets in the match, the Cardinals stayed alive, taking the third set 38 36. The Waves dropped the fourth and were forced into the fifth indecisive set. The Cardinal carried their momentum into the set of 15 and only gave up six points to Pepperdine, easily dropping the waves. And this is what we're talking about, WCC basketball, 15 on the clock. Here's Connors, nine on the shot clock, puts up a tough shot, rolls in. What a play by Connors. This offense nicely for the waves. Metton goes baseline, looks for the pass, sees Barnett. Barnett, pump fake, takes it in, up and good, and a strong take by the native of Albuquerque, Sky Barnett, and the waves push their lead to four now. To Jackson, Jackson has Metton. Minton for three, big shot on the way, and it's good, Katie Minton. Here's Minton, she wants to shoot it, this could seal it, and it does. Katie Minton, back-to-back three-pointers, pushes this lead to nine, and the largest lead for the Waves all night comes in overtime with two minutes to go. In his second year as head coach at Malibu High School, Jack Pollan has tasted the thrills and agony that come from the sport of basketball. Yet his love for the game has always stayed constant. Just basketball was, was the sport that stuck. Baseball took too long, soccer was too boring, uh, football was too much equipment and too much stuff going on. Here in the gymnasium of Malibu High School is where Coach Jack Pollan does the majority of his work. But his involvement in high school sports goes far beyond the campus of Malibu High School. He also works with Los Angeles Daily News, where he reports on prep sports with both boys and girls basketball. <laughs> Jumping over Northern Hollywood at the school of Harvard Westlake, it's no surprise amongst this crowd of fans to find Jack Pollan mixed in and working for the Los Angeles Daily News. Going out, covering a, a game, keeping stats, and writing like two or three paragraph little stories, synopsis of the game. And uh, 
fell in love with, with that because one, I love sports and, and two, I loved being able to uh, tell, a, tell a story of what was going on and, and you know, inform people. The responsibilities of being a coach and a writer consume much of Pollen's time. However, his top priority is always his family and their recent addition, Jaden Pollen. It hasn't really even sunk in yet that, that I'm a dad. It, it's still, it's been three weeks and it's still sinking in. When I have some bad times here at practice or, hey, I didn't write the greatest story or something, um, I get in the car and I drive home and, and I know that, that I have this little girl that, that doesn't care about that, doesn't care, you know, what, what went on. And, and loves dad unconditionally. To say Paul is busy is certainly an understatement, but each of his responsibilities is not out of choice, but rather comes from love and desire. For Newsways, this is John Collette.